Hi Pisces, this reading is for you if you just recently broke up or had a fallout with your significant other. I'll do three spreads. In the first spread, the situation spread. We'll see what happened between you and the person you were dealing with. Then in the second spread, the advice spread. We'll see what's recommended for you in the situation. And uh, in spread number three, the new love spread, we'll see who is coming towards you in the near future. Please like, share, subscribe and uh, hit the bell to get notified to support this channel. Here's the situation, uh, Pisces. We have the Two of Swords, the Six of Pentacles. Uh, we also have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Swords, and we have uh, the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. There is only one way for me to interpret this spread, Pisces. Right? Um, somebody chose somebody else over you. Okay? And uh, I don't know if you were already dating this person, if you were already in a relationship with this person, or you were just talking to them. Um, but uh, they chose somebody else, and the the word keeps that keeps popping up in my head is coward, like cowardly. They did it cowardly, right behind your back, right. So we got the two of swords, the six of pentacles, and uh, the two of pentacles on the table. All those three cards are talking about the same thing and the same thing. Only a choice. Somebody was making a choice, choosing between you and another person. All those three cards could be interpreted as cards of a choice. And uh, at the end we have the Eight of Cups, left right by the Seven of Swords. So the Eight of Cups, this is them walking away. Uh, away from you. The Seven of Swords, clarifying it is a card of a deception, it's a card of somebody who sneaks around, it's a card of cheating, right? And uh, it's a card of somebody who runs away. So perhaps they just, like I said earlier, cowardly ran away from you. You know, perhaps you had your hopes set really high for this, but um, it turns out this person was nothing like you imagined. Um, Pisces. Yeah, so I'm not going to spend any more time on this, but uh, let's take a look at the uh, advice spread real quick. Here's the advice for you, uh, Pisces. This is from your perspective. This is what you need to do, or at least take into consideration. We have uh, the Nine of Swords, clarified by the Five of Cups. Uh, we'll have the Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Chariot on the bottom of the deck. You know what, from the advice perspective, um, I think you need the change of scenery. I think you need to go somewhere anywhere <laughs> or perhaps a particular destination all right uh, I really believe you need to go somewhere because uh, there's two cards in the tarot deck that are the fastest two cards in the tarot deck and both of them are on the table the eight of ones is the first one and the chariot on the bottom of the deck is the second one all right the chariot could be a cancer you're dealing with the chariot is the only major iconic card on the table all right, perhaps, you know, you, if you have a car show coming up in your area, I think you should go. If you've been thinking about purchasing a new car, I think it would be a good time to purchase a new vehicle with the Chariot card. The Chariot could be a new car. If you were thinking about <laughs> getting some service done on your car, like an oil change, I think you should consider doing that. But for most of you, this is you literally going somewhere to you know to get your mind off of what happened and uh, yeah the first three cards we have in the beginning of the spread the nine of swords the five of cups the five of pentacles these are some low vibrational energies this is you just uh, sitting at home perhaps even not getting out of bed and uh, beating yourself up uh, just thinking overthinking relieving what happened to you in the past with this person you know but um, yeah the Eight of Wands, uh, perhaps it's a card of communication as well. Perhaps you can uh, post something on social media and say, Hey friends, who wants to go here? Or who wants to explore this area? Who wants to check out this exhibit at the museum? And I'm sure there will be people who will join you. Okay? So yeah, that's what I have for you um, so far. But uh, we still have a third, the third spread coming up. The third spread is new love coming towards you in the near future. Here's spread number three, Pisces. Uh, this is new love coming towards you in the near future. Uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Ace of Swords. Uh, we have the King of Swords. We have uh, the Nine of Cups, clarified by the Sun. And we have the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or a Sagittarius, or a Leo. But I usually go with the uh, King or Queen, or both, if one or both show up. So we got this King of Swords right there in the middle where the candle is. So it could be an Air sign. A Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, or somebody with a lot of air in their chart. If they're not an air sign, perhaps they're somebody who is very intelligent. They could be um, 
wearing a uniform, you know, somebody who is very straightforward and very direct. And that's exactly what I think you will get from this person, besides love <laughs> and happiness. They're going to be very straightforward, very upfront with you. No beating around the bush, no playing or fooling around. Uh, they're going to be very straightforward with you, right? Because so we have the Ace of Swords all the way to your left. I find the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, by the way, could be a card of travel. <laughs> Remember, in the, um, in the advice spread, I, I suggested for you to go somewhere, get out of the house, venture out, be active, things like that. The Wheel of Fortune could be a repeat of that energy. But at the same time, the Wheel of Fortune is the start of a new cycle. It's a major arcana card, right? So this person is not going to waste any time. They will want to get serious with you with that Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. The Ace of Swords clarifying it that I was just started, I started talking about it. Right? Belongs to the King of Swords, right? You see how the King of Swords is holding up a sword? That's exactly the sword we see in the Ace of Swords. And again, this is them being very straightforward, very honest, very upfront with you, very direct with you. You know, you will know what this person brings to the table, right? And uh, what they bring to the table is everything to the right <laughs> from the King of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups clarified by the Sun, and we also have uh, the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So the Nine of Cups, could it, it's, a, it's a wish come true card. Essentially, it is a wish come true card. But in some tarot decks, the Nine of Cups is also a card of a celebration of some sort, right? In those decks, the Nine of Cups literally looks like a party, a celebration, I don't know, dinner with people sitting around the table and things like that. So perhaps this is where you could be meeting this person, or you'll just be happy, you know, you'll just be happy. Speaking of happiness, the, the Sun, clarifying the Nine of Cups, could be a Leo you're dealing with, but the Sun is the happiest card in the deck, you know? It, it really is. And it's clarifying the Nine of Cups, which is a wish come true card. And with the sun, we always feel loved, we always feel cherished, we always feel on top of the world. And uh, the cherry on top is the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I really like how we have the Nine of Cups and then the progression to the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is a family card, it's a card of a commitment or marriage. It's um, the happily ever after card, right? So we do have the happiest card in the deck, the sun, and we have the happily ever after card, the ten of cups. So I think you're going to be happy, <laughs> right? The person in the nine of cups, by the way, and, you know, that person is happy, you know. That person is definitely happy, satisfied, and fulfilled. So, yeah, what a turnaround. What a turnaround, Pisces. All right, so, yeah. That's what I have for you for this reading, for your birthday month, Pisces. Happy birthday. <laughs> and uh, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing March.